Hi, everyone. This is Introduction to IDEA Data Analysis by Caseware. My name is King Ivy. I'm a professional accountant specializing in data analytics, and I'm also a lecturer at the University of Waterloo. So a little bit more about these lessons. Uh, we are currently using version 9.1, 32-bit for these videos. So if you're using a different version, the tools and techniques that we'll be showing you may appear a little bit different, but in my experience, they're more or less the same. A little bit more about myself, I teach computer system auditing and business analytics at the University of Waterloo, and that includes teaching the IDEA software. This is meant as an introductory set of lessons, and there are probably many ways to perform the tasks we're going to show in these lessons. These are short instructional videos and aren't meant to provide full explanations on why we're performing these tasks. And that is done on purpose to keep these videos useful and succinct. All the data files that you will need access to uh, will be accessible through the link below, and I'll also include them in the descriptions below. As you can see on the right-hand side, there's, there's going to be eight videos. The first video is it's this one, the IDEA software. The second video is going to discuss importing the data. The third is going to be categorizing data, including summarizations, classifications, etc. The fourth one is relating data, so combining different data sets off of com using common fields. The fifth video will be on extracting data into different tables. The sixth video will be on creating, modifying, and removing fields. Seven will be exploring the data, looking for anomalies or errors. And eighth video will be in an introductory statistical analysis using IDEA, including correlations, trend analysis, uh, etc. As discussed earlier, on the left-hand side, you'll see that all the data files will be available on Dropbox uh, through that link. And there will be no data files used for this particular lesson. So a little bit more about the IDEA software, and this is pulled directly from the Caseware website. IDEA is a powerful and user-friendly data analysis tool designed to help auditors, accountants, and other finance professionals perform data analysis quickly to help improve audits and identify control breakdowns. IDEA allows you to analyze 100% of the data, guarantees you data integrity, and provides easy analysis with over 100 audit-relevant tasks. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the background of IDEA and how it can be used, uh, you can see this video link, which is produced by Caseware, which I find was quite good. So just to show you where the data will be stored, so you'll see that it'll be in a folder called IDEA, and it'll be in a folder called source data, and these will be the various data files that we'll be using throughout the eight lessons. So we're just going to quickly walk through the Caseware IDEA GUI, which is the user interface, just so you get an idea of what the software is like. So this is, again, version 9.1, and if you're curious about what version you're using, you can just go to the file, and then go to the help, and then you'll see the version, version there. So we'll just walk through the various tabs. If any of you used Microsoft Office, you'll see that it's a very familiar format. So you'll have, on the Home tab, it'll include Project Overview, which will provide a graphical representation of all the procedures that you performed. Uh, create, which is when you'll create a new project. So in this case, if I were to create a new project, I could call this Lesson 101. And then if you were to go to your documents, go to My Idea Documents, go to Idea Projects, and then you'll see Lesson 1. And within Lesson 1, you'll see that this is the standard file format, folder format for Idea, which includes custom functions, equation, exports, import definitions, macros, other results, smart analysis, and source files. I really recommend that you copy all the source file data in the Dropbox to the source fo file form folder within the IDEA project that you've created. And then you'll see the project, which is currently open. You'll see select, which will t ask you to select the project that you want to work in, uh, properties, Desktop Plus, which is basically how we're going to import the data, but we'll get to that in Lesson 2. Let's move on to the next tab. This is the data menu. This includes copy, uh, order, sorting the data, whether it's ascending or descending, creating new fields, finding data sets, going to certain data sets, analysis, where a lot of the functions and features are located, which includes extracting the data, exploring the data, categorizing, relating, performing sampling, including monetary unit sampling, which is very helpful for a lot of audit engagements. And then you'll see view. I often don't use view, view that much because I find the default is, is quite helpful. Macros. So we won't be getting to macros in these introductory sets, but in future, 
uh, lesson sets, we may incorporate macros. And this includes uh, more of a text-based macro interface. So if any of you are familiar with scripting, uh, this is a great tool to use. Or more visual. So in case any of you are more visual, you can see the different tasks, including opening databases, importing databases, uh, et cetera. And then smart analysis, which we won't be getting into in these sets of lessons, but there's a lot of great tools, and that's what they reference to in terms of the 100 relevant audit tasks. So that's it for, for lesson one. Um, stay tuned, and uh, we'll be discussing more about the idea of software. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below, and look forward to hearing from you soon.